Hello everybody, and welcome to the final episode of Season 2 of the Weather News Hire for Not Show. See, I uh, got you there. It's not the final episode of the show, period. It's the final episode of Season 2. Um, but uh, if you haven't watched our last episode here of the Weather News Times or Not show, it was kind of more of a rambling episode. Yeah. Uh, we talked about our world of Daenerys, uh, which is a film that we have talked about wanting to do uh, for a couple of months now. So if you want to go listen to what we have to say about that, go check it out. It'll be at the top of this video. Um, with this episode, as you can tell, by the title, we're going to be recapping the entire year. Um, we Most of the time we do this at the beginning of the year, but we decided that it made more sense to talk about it at the end of the year because, you know, we're not yeah. making any more videos this year. Uh, we're going into 2024. Um, but, yeah, we're going to go through every single video that we did this year, which most of them are going to be episodes of the show. Yeah. Because, really, we called th this year the year of wonder. It was really the year of the show. Because that's what we did, was the Weather News Times and show all year. Um, like we said in the last episode, we did four films last year, and Dawson said we sucked. We so sucked. <laughs> We sucked in the last one. Um, but we plan on doing a lot more than four Next year, we're going to try to, whether they're films that we've planned on doing or whether they're on-the-spot stuff, which turns out to be the case most of the time. Mm -hmm. uh, but we plan on making more uh, videos, including more episodes of the show, obviously. Um, but uh, what do you, what did you think of this year, Dawson? Um, In whether news happens or not terms. I would say slow-paced. Yeah. Just kind of yeah. very like... Uh, we had a lot of stuff come up this year. Not a lot yeah. of time to... I mean, we did a lot of videos, as you will be able to tell when we start talking about them, but yeah. it felt like a lot of stuff came up to the point where we couldn't do as much. We didn't. We did a lot of the show and like small yeah. stuff, but we never did like our regular stuff, which yeah. is short films and whatnot. Now, we probably could have put more stuff out, but there was a couple of times that when we planned to film, and then when film day come, it like fell apart last minute, and then we were just like, heck it, we're just going to hang we out We might today. talk about that later. We're just like, heck it, we'll just yeah. hang out today, because this is just went to crap, and mm -hmm. it's like, whatever. I know one so, in particular, but so, we actually did a film that day. Yeah. So it's kind of like, eh, you know. It happens. Yeah. I mean, behind the scenes, there's a lot of different things that happens behind the scenes. A lot of y'all don't obviously get to see or know about. Yeah. Um, but we've been focusing on the show a lot, and we plan on focusing on the show next year as well, and in the future, whether it be on this set, whether it be on a new set, wherever, wherever we are, mm -hmm. we're planning on doing uh, more of the show, um, whatever the case may be. We talked about obviously doing, having more guests on the show, um, interviewing more people. Mm -hmm. uh, we hope to do that more in the next year. We'll talk about all the stuff that we want to do later in this video as we're talking about all the different videos that we did. Um, and we're also going to, well, I know that we're basically treating this like our end, beginning, end of the year video like we yeah. always do. Um, we're going to talk about towards the end after we recap all the year, uh, we're going to talk about specifically what film ideas we want to try to do this year um, like we do every year. And most of them... I'm not saying we won't do them, but most of the time when we do talk about them, they never happen, yeah. which it happens. And we'll probably talk about the video that we did last or this earlier this year mm. about with the film ideas that we did for that one as well. Um, but without any further ado, we're gonna just jump right into it, and uh, we're gonna cut to our. We're doing a little. We're doing something a little bit different today because now we're gonna intro the shows here, Sweet. and then we're gonna be going to our separate cameras in a few minutes. Yes. And let it, just let it roll. Uh, but try to, yes. we're going to try to, yeah. We're going to try to do whatever we can to uh, make it happen. So let's get right into it. All right. 
As you can tell, we're in the split screen zone. That's what this I'm calling it. Is, this is not a gaming video. This is not a gaming video, but we're in the split screen zone. You can see me on the left and Dawson's on the right. As you're seeing us right now, we can't see that because we're just looking right into oh, we're just looking right into our cameras. That was probably trippy. Um, but uh, we're gonna go through every single episode or not really well technically yeah we're going through every single episode that we did yeah. but every single video that we came out with this year uh, talking about stuff behind it all that good stuff and then at the end of this video or the end of the episode we're gonna go into some film ideas that we hope to do or finish or whatever here or video ideas not just films but video ideas in general um stuff. for the next year in 2024 and then we'll figure out along the way what the year of 2024 is going to be called because we called it the year of wonder last year and who knows it might be called that again <laughs> because because you never know um but we started out the year with the year of wonder which is the video that we did the very first video we did on this set which is almost a year ago which is crazy and yeah. uh, we've been filming episodes and videos down here for an entire year almost and then the fact that we haven't done it in years uh since we started the channel um so we talked about different ideas um i didn't write down specifically what ideas that we did talk about um not unless we watched it back because that segment goes on for like 13 minutes oh yeah um but we talked about the different ideas uh that we wanted to do for the year, and I can almost guarantee you we probably did none of them. Yeah. I'm just going to be completely honest. I think we did probably none of them. Um, but check that video out. We talk about all the different kinds of stuff that we did that year, which was not much. Because I remember 2023, we did not, or in 2022, we did not do a lot um, that year um, for multiple reasons. Um, but we did that. Cool stuff. A uh, little... Typical video, just like the one we're doing right now. Yeah. Um, and then we made the return of the Weather News Hammers or Not show, which was two years in the making because we did not do an episode of the show for two whole years. Episode six. Yeah, episode six, where we reacted to and talked about the Highlanders. Little did we know that six months later we'd be doing a sequel to it, which is, we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Um, which is awesome. Yeah, it's great. Um, the Highlander, yeah, we reacted to the Highlanders. I remember we had technical difficulties with this one. It took a while for it to come out because, yes. uh, editing it for some stupid reason, uh, kept crashing my, com my old computer, which is right over mm -hmm. here that, and we're still using it shockingly, but yeah, uh, it, it was, it took forever for the thing to come out and, uh, it did pretty well. We talked about the behind the scenes of the Highlanders, um, potentially doing, uh, sequels or stuff with it, which, like I said already, we did. We did. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you want to go watch our little experiences with the Highlanders, uh, watch that video. It was, it was pretty fun to watch back. Uh, we do plan on reacting to more of our films. Um, we only reacted to really a handful this year, so we'll probably react to newer ones, old, old, old ones, whatever. We'll just, you'll have to wait and see. See. Um, the next one that we did was Reacting to Ghost, which was a film that we did back in 2018. Um, and we talked about the behind the scenes of that video and the potential ideas that we did have for doing a trilogy. Yes, we thought about doing a trilogy with that film, uh, mostly between mine and Dawson's characters of Nuka and Malachi mm -hmm. with the uh, Golden Jaguar. Um, yeah, and we also had mic difficulties Yeah, on that one as well. We had a lot of technical difficulties. We were trying to figure out the show at that point. We didn't have any of this nope. yet, uh, but that'll be at the beginning of Season 2, which uh, if you're watching the playlist right now, just go watch the first one because it was the very first one. We've had this backdrop in every Season 2 episode ever um but yeah we were to the ghost and it was a lot of fun yeah. check it out um our next one is probably one of my favorite videos that we've done and i'm glad that it has the amount of views that it does it was us talking about all of our favorite power ranger suits um we got called nerds for doing this i remember that somebody told me that we were absolute nerds for going through 
you have to be to go through all of them. And we talked about all of them, and you can go watch it. It's a, it's a very long video, but it's worth the watch because you get to see what we think about every Power Rangers show's mm -hmm. suits. Uh, I would say we do uh, another one. Uh, Cosmic Fury did come out, and I have to say, none of them are my favorite. So, <laughs> none of those suits are my favorite at all. Um, but uh, or characters, the whole storyline off camera. Me and Dawson have talked about it. Is uh, crazy, crazy stuff. It's so stupid. <laughs> very, very dumb. Um, so I can understand why they want to redo the entire thing. Totally yeah. understand that, but honestly, I feel like if they re when they do redo it, I don't know if it'll be any better than it was. Um, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we talked about our favorite Power Ranger suit, so we did a little similar video several months later that we'll get to that has way more views than this one does. Um, but we discussed every single from Mighty Morphin all the way until Dino Fury, I believe. Yes. Because Cosmic Fury was not out yet, um, and we wouldn't have had much to say about it anyways. Uh, but, uh, the next episode that we did was ranking all of the MCU movies and TV shows, uh, which is a lot of fun to do. Uh, I think we need to do another ranking of, like, movies or something at some mm -hmm. point. Um, I had some ideas with, uh, doing, like, a whole movie type, uh, yay or nay or in the middle type thing, like, name off a movie title, did you like it, did you not, why, why not, mm. type thing. So, we might do something like that next year, uh, but we went through in tier list style of our rankings of the MCU movies and TV shows, which, as you know, we've talked about it in our Thanksgiving episode, how crap it's gone to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Since then, not a lot has changed the fact with MCU at all. No, it's... Oh, man. But Guardians of the Galaxy did get nominated for a Golden Globe for it visual did, effects. It did. Which is surprising because, you know... Guardians of the Galaxy 3 was actually really good. That's what I've heard. <laughs> it's pretty... That's, I that is what it. I've heard. I actually... Yeah, Unlike I the Marvels, uh, which was the... Garbage. Everyone... Right. It's funny, though, because everybody considers that one and Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania to be the worst ones that they've done, which I think are the only three that they've done this year. I think so, yeah. And those two are the worst, apparently. And now Jonathan Majors is arrested, so they're not even going to have... Because they found him guilty, so he's not yep. going to, you know... Which Great I... stuff. Great stuff. They... Marvel's just went downhill anyways. Every... Like, everything that they do sucks. Uh, yeah. They went woke. They just got to somehow redeem themselves. I don't you know if woke, it's... You go broke. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, there's a lot of things. We could go into a whole other conversation about all the things that they've turned woke. Sesame Street. Random, but I, it's the first thing that popped in my head. Elmo! Yeah. Remember what happened to our Elmo? We need to bring him back. <laughs> he died. Elmo, yeah, he had nine <laughs> lives and then got brutally shot in the face. Um, nine times. Nine <laughs> times. Uh, but... Uh, how did the whole nine life thing come about? I don't know. Like, I, I think we it was like, just an excuse. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I think it was just an excuse to just have him in the film for longer, just and we just killing keep him. killing him off, and he'd come back, and it was just an excuse to keep doing that. But uh, we will react to that one in the future. And at one point in time, we come in like with a full suit of armor. That was like, the cool part. <laughs> that was the cool part of that film, in my opinion. Um, I know we'll we haven't reacted to any of the versus videos, but we will no, at a certain we point. We we will go through each and every single one of them. We'll talk about our experiences on those. Um, which right now, which is kind of funny, it's not really a versus video. Well, it it kind of is. I'm actually like slightly watching it right now. And it's the uh, Street Fire tournament. <laughs> oh yeah, that one definitely does feel like a versus video, but it's not. It's, it's an actual thing. I actually, if we do watch that and react to it, which that'd be a very there's a lot of backstory to that film in general. Like period, the way that we came up with that in like 24 hours, we just yep. came up with it. Um, the uh, what was I gonna say that it it's funny because that film was yeah made up in 24 hours and it does feel like a versus video mm -hmm. um i remember i had the idea of wanting to do a sequel 
with more fighters, and I wanted to do it in the high school theater. Yeah. I wanted to do it there, and now, and then I think we knew that definitely wasn't going to happen. No. But. I'm surprised we even was able to do it in that auditorium. I, uh, yeah, well, it was only because Hope. Yeah. Or, you know, whatever. Which I wish we could do that again, but. We would have to, well, what we would have to do is do it like. Maybe do it in Babel and M's basement and kind of do like a, I don't really know, like do a, I'm trying to think of like, I wouldn't say like a live, not do it like a live TV thing like we did with that one, because that was corny. That was very It was funny, funny though, but. It was fun. The little TV commercials. Yeah. Was, yeah. I just got past that part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the corny part, Um, but. I think we would actually, I feel like if we did a sequel to it, and we did flashbacks to it and all that stuff, make it more serious than the first one. Yeah. Like, explain the origin of it, explain the characters from the first one, show flashbacks and stuff, and not have, like, Iron Fist, because that's, you know, not our person, but come up with completely different people, and it be a legit tournament Mm -hmm. with people fighting to the death. And make it as gory as possible. Um, but that might be in the future, so look out for that. We, um, but yeah, uh, but we ranked all the MCU movies and TV shows. Um, I will say confidently, I don't know about you, but I've not watched any new stuff. After Ooh. She-Hulk, I could not. After Dawson showed me that first episode, I could not. I haven't watched crap. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there really is no point. Um, but the next video that we did do was we reacted to Come Home, which is a film that we did in 2020, and we talked all about that and the behind the scenes mm-hmm. with Come Home, which, uh, was many, many different things before it became Come Home. Uh, it was actually supposed to be set in World War II, and then we changed yep. it to the Vietnam War. I think at the last minute we changed it to the Vietnam we did. War. Uh, well, we filmed part of it, and like, um... Well, not what we... It was two different things. We filmed part of The Foreigner, what you see. Yeah. And then... What 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 happened? It was like... It, Maddie and Preston didn't show up. And it was just me, you, and my dad. And that, Ian. And Ian, Ian that filmed some stuff. But then Ian like left halfway through because he had something to do that he didn't tell us about. No, we're yeah. We're like, okay, bye. Yeah. So we stopped filming it. And then we never got back around to filming it again. And then we we're like, hey, we got time to film something. So we we're like, okay, let's film. We'll try and film The Foreigner again. And at that point in time, the people that we were going to use, of course, do not film with us anymore. Maddie, yeah. Maddie doesn't film with us anymore. Yeah. Preston is MIA most of the time. Yeah, pretty much. So it's, I mean, and then we we're like, okay, well, let's do this. And we stuck with, I think we were going to do it, like you said, it was World War II again. We are like, let's do another World War II thing. And then it became Vietnam. And then we were like, well, do we want to have kind of the same storyline? But then we, we made like, it up as we went. Yeah, and then we much. just kind of made it up as we went. And what was cool about that is me and Trace filmed all of the war stuff ahead of time by ourselves nobody knew what was really going on mm-hmm. and then we filmed all of the um radio stuff yeah with caitlin and hope yeah and that entire the other time hope. yeah the other hope yeah and what was funny is that entire time i remember them just saying like i don't know what's going on it's like it's kind of the point yeah so we like, do we know what's going on because yeah. we filmed it but you don't know what's going on, and that's kind of the point, is your characters don't even know yeah. what's going on. well, because they're listening it over the radio. Yeah, you're just listening to a radio. I mean, I will say that that scene, and I don't know if I said it in that video, considering we filmed that in February, which is crazy to me, yeah. um, but I will say uh, that the scenes with us at the bench is probably the most awkward talking oh, scenes I've ever uh, ever done. I was, I think that was the most nervous that I ever was doing those things because we had no idea what we were going to do. We and had no idea what we were going to do. And also we had two new people that we were yeah, dealing with. Yeah. And like Caitlin 
which I know she's in a bunch of stuff now, yeah. but this was her first appearance. Yeah, this was her, her first acting, appearance. Yeah. appearance. And um which is so weird to me. You know, like it, it's been like I know me and Caitlin have been together for three years. Yeah. So her being her first appearance only within this or, or back then, mm -hmm. like, and then going to this, reacting to it, it's kind of, it's weird seeing that, like, of course we've had it in the past where we deal with somewhere it's like, you film with them for so long and then it's kind of like, yeah, cool, and then you, like, call upon them, and then they show up, and you film, and everything's fine, but, like, you think about the first time you filmed, and, like, it's kind of weird thinking about mm -hmm. how awkward it actually was. I will say the one time... Well, y'all weren't together at that yeah, point. Yeah, we weren't together at that point. I will say the one time when we were filming with a big group of people that we really haven't filmed with before, like, we have, but, like... Some of them haven't filmed with each other. Yeah. Like, we filmed with them individually, but... Yeah. It didn't feel awkward at all. It was actually Silent Night. Yeah. And you had Hope, Maddie. Well, that Olivia, group besides Alex. us too was the reason why it made it so, like, like we filmed with them before because they all four of them were already good friends with each other, mm -hmm. and me and you were, well, we were friends with them in our own ways. Like you were friends with Hope and Maddie and Olivia because of band and. Mm. I was friends with Alex since like the fifth grade because we both did YouTube and yeah. and it all kind of just mixed together and we all had Maddie wasn't even gonna be in it until nope. Hope you know we can we'll react to that one in the future and talk about all that because we all we have stories for everything that we filmed at this point. I actually I still think it's really funny because I remember when we first started filming that day. I think it was Maddie and she was like. When do you come in? And I, I turned my hat around. I was like, let me put my directing hat on. I'm not going to be in this film. <laughs> and then, like, at the very end, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be in it. And then they're like, oh, okay. And it's only for, like, two minutes. Two minutes, yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, what, a 32-minute video or something it's like, like that? Yeah, it's like 22 minutes. Oh, yeah, and 22. you, like, drop in at the last that's two minutes, and you just wreck everything. And then, yep, that's it. Ta-da! And that's kind of how I'm going to have it to be in the halo film too yeah in a way yeah we'll talk about that later but you uh i remember in that one you literally only say like two lines in that entire film and you say where is he mm -hmm. like i guess the alien has a gender i didn't know that yeah. and then right after you take the head off of the alien you go god people are stupid and then yeah. you walk off and then you barely can hear you say it but that's what you say and that's the only the few lines that dawson says I was mostly the camera operator and the director the yeah entire time yeah it was actually pretty fun <laughs> it was one of the few times where i was the lead actor yeah. in a film and i was the also at the same time somewhat the villain because no way, I because guess. i basically did not care about my girlfriend nope you left her to die yep <laughs> you just <laughs> You can die. The trilogy of uh, abusing Olivia, which that's a whole video in itself. <laughs> reacting to those films, we'll have to talk about that because that was a whole inside joke. Um, but we did come home. It was the only film that uh, Dawson and Caitlin worked together at that point because right after that we did Halo and y'all were together at that point. Yes. So that was the only film where none of us were romantically interested in each other. Nope. And I'm only talking about guy and girl. Don't yep. get weird. Um, but yeah, so, uh, that was a cool video to react to. We also, in the next episode, reacted to Brothers, which... Such a good film. Such a good film. Um, one of the most emotional films, uh, that one, it's funny that the two, yeah. one of the, oh, it's funny because those two film, the two film, that one and Home are like the two most emotional ones, and they both are set in the Civil War. Yep. Sort of. Uh, one of them is in the Civil War, the other one is after the Civil War, yep. but still... Same difference. Same difference. Um, but they're both emotional in that way, and we will react to Home at some point, um, we'll, and we'll talk about more of the Civil War stuff. We did react to Brothers, uh, talked about all the behind-the-scenes stuff with that, how that came to be, how mm -hmm. it bombed when we first did it. Yeah. And now it's fine. I don't understand why it bombed the way it did, because it's such, like, it's so good. It's, like you said, it's very emotional, and it's very simple. Yeah. Too. like very very simple but you know it's youtube 
one, it's YouTube, and two, uh, it's the Civil War. So, of course, the Civil War is racist. We said that, I think, in the reaction video, that the reason we thought... Really, I brought the idea a month after we filmed that, I brought up the idea of the reason why it doesn't have any views is because they consider the Civil War racist because of the flag. Yeah. The, the rebel flag, um, which was not even in the film at all uh, no, that I'm aware of. I think people just didn't like it, too, because of the fact of the main characters were on the Confederate side. And they were the heroes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like Which whatever. people don't consider them to be the heroes. It's a different time, folks. Different it's stuff. Different time. Um, but uh, we reacted to that, and then we ranked our films from the last two years, uh, which consisted of everything from, I believe, 21... Uh, no, from Halo to Inside. That was what we ranked was from the Halo film all the way until uh, Inside. And that was quite interesting. I honestly have to rewatch a lot of these because I don't remember half the stuff that I said in this. I don't remember a lot of stuff. So, uh, you know, that's what the fun part is. You can say whatever and then you won't remember it. It's like being drunk. <laughs> you, you don't remember anything that you say. Um, but yeah, we ranked all those and... Oh, uh, that was a lot of fun to do. Uh, we might do that with our older ones, because we did do rankings of our older ones off camera. Uh, we just never uh, did an actual thing with them. Uh, but we might do some with our older ones, potentially, in the future. And then we reacted to Star Wars Bounty, which is a film that we did uh, back in 2022. I don't know why I almost got their year wrong, because I can't ever remember when that happened sometimes. But we reacted and talked about that, and funny enough, we actually, the the day before, we filmed stuff for Lost But Not Gone, because that's why Dawson has a mustache in that <laughs> video. So, yeah, I remember, that's how I remember when we filmed this, because it was right after we did the filming in the library, mm. um, which we'll We're still working on that, by We the way. are, yeah, we'll talk more about that um, towards the end of the recap. Uh, and then we premiered season two of the Weather News Hammers Not Show with the new backdrop. And everything. Yay. We did that in April. A whole month later. I just realized that. I looked at the dates. It's a whole month later. Pretty much. We came back a whole month later with the premiere of season two, um, which wasn't a very long episode, uh, considering the fact that we just talked about what we were going to do for season two. Um, but then we did a video of our custom Power Ranger teams, which we might do another episode on because mm. we have a lot of ideas for power custom Power Ranger stuff and themes. Yeah, and themes. We've been we worked on those in the last episode. If y'all want to uh, check those out, it's pretty cool. Um, the and we have some custom Kamen Rider stuff. Even though y'all hate us, uh, we do have the Mighty yeah. Mantis, which is one of them. Uh, we've talked about that a handful of times. Geo Rangers theme. Is Geo Ra yeah, the Geo Rangers theme is a banger. Um, <laughs> when we do. Y'all probably heard it in the last episode, but when we do do uh, do, do, do do another custom Power Ranger episode, you'll get to hear the full theme in its entirety. The AI version of it. We'll release that. You probably heard it in the last one. Go find it. Um, but Check or watch it. then we had our first guest in like two years be on the show, and that was Ian. Yep. Ian got to be on the show. Uh, he got to promote his music, mm -hmm. uh, which he's been doing concerts. Uh, he's been doing that. In LJ, uh, where we live, in Georgia. He's been doing them um, locally and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, and we talked about, we got to sit down and talk to him about that. We got to talk to him about all the films he's been in. Because uh, he's been a part of Weather News Times or not since 2019, which yeah. is crazy to think about. Uh, they've been there for that long. Even though he's been in a few films, not a lot. Not a lot, but a few. I would say the best one being Home so far. Because yes. that's probably the biggest role he's done. And getting shot point blank in the head, so you know we'll talk about that. By me, yeah, by Dawson. We'll we'll, we'll get into that uh, when we react to that film. And then we talked about our character, the White Wolf, which is not just a, a character, but it's also going to be a film. The Spirit of the Wolf. We talked about the film. We talked about the costume. We talked about the story. The character of Jack Rollins. The White Wolf mm -hmm. and all of that stuff. So that was pretty cool. We uh, we plan on doing more custom character 
episodes, including that one. Um, and then uh, we introduced gaming to the show, which we I thought we would do more of, but we, didn't. we definitely will in 2024. We'll try to do more gaming stuff on the Weather News Times and on our show. We played Halo Combat Evolve. We continued that little series uh, that we had going on, the gaming series. Which we, we need to do again. Which we do need to do again. Um, but uh, we've pretty much moved, like I've said in other episodes, we've moved all of our recurring series is over to the show so they're not in like a specific playlist i guess they're all yeah. under the show but we played halo combat evolved upstairs in my room uh we plan on making more we might do play more different games because we always play call of duty we always play halo uh and we don't we always stick to that those kind of things we might find something who knows and play it i need to bring back gta we do. Uh, GTA, we haven't done that in like three years, so <laughs> fun stuff. Um, and we might do some more Minecraft. Because we went to the Wizard World, and that was a very interesting experience. Me with the horse. Yeah, that was the very last gaming episode that we did, was that one. And then we did the Halo one. Yeah. Well, we actually did a live stream, but that went down really horribly, so that's not yeah. on the channel. You'll never get to see that. Yeah, <laughs> never. Uh, I thought I had the sound on, but I didn't. Um, but the next one we did was reacted to The Woods, which is the most popular film that we have done here on YouTube on the Weather News Times or Not channel. We talked about all the behind the scenes of that. We watched it in full, and we plan on making a sequel at some point. Um, so look out for that. Mm -hmm. That was a very fun and interesting uh, video that we actually did research for. One of the few films that we've done research for, Come Home, was another one. Um, yeah. There's very few, but we've done research on films, and, and uh, The Woods was one of them. Mm -hmm. I almost forgot the title for some reason. The Bigfoot yeah, film. Yeah, The Bigfoot film. Uh, probably one of my favorite, favorite film or videos that we did this year, and I want to do another one, except I want to do it with more people. The Weather News Times Not Spelling Bee. That was a very fun video to do, and I enjoyed it very much. Um, not because I got to shoot Dawson with a gun, but it was fun because y'all got to see how great we can spell. <laughs> Cast a spell. <laughs> I sucked. <laughs> it was interesting. I know we talked about... I still have the word lists over there from it. Yeah. Um, I know we talked about bringing uh, Caitlin and Ian and other people in to do a whole big spelling bee episode. Yeah, so they can suck too. Yeah, and uh, we might do that in the future in 2024. We might bring in some other people. We need to make the stakes higher. We need to do it, like, in the summertime to where whoever loses has got to, like, take an ice bath or some crap. That's what I was thinking, like, with the water hose. I brought up the initially yeah. where I brought up the water hose. <laughs> and we the reason why we didn't do the water hose is because we didn't have an idea of how we were going to film that. We need to get one of those t-shirt cannons. Oh, my gosh, yeah. <laughs> and put, like, powdered sugar in it. To where, like, at the end of the episode, you're just, like, completely white. And, like, <laughs> covered in powder. Com completely covered in powdered sugar. Crazy. Uh, but we plan on doing more little fun uh, games, stuff like that. I know, um, speaking of the spelling bee, I know uh, we've talked about playing uh, not just video games, but uh, card games, board games. We've yes. talked about playing those on the channel as well, um, including um, games like... Uh, just these are just examples, not mm -hmm. saying that we will do them like Clue or mm -hmm. um, Sorry or stuff like that. We we might play those on the show. D and D Warhammer. Play Warhammer. Yeah, playing Warhammer's one. Um, but exam those uh, we might do some of those in 2024. Um, and then this one recently got a bunch of views because of the amount of hate that we got on one of the previous episodes that we'll talk about yep. or early or later episodes that we did. Uh, we ranked every single common Rider suit. Not every single one. We kind of exaggerated there. Yeah. Uh, all the newer ones. And it's got over a 1,000 views. And it's currently got 28 dislikes and 35 likes. It's got more likes. But, yeah, we talked about all of the common Rider suits. Not, yes, we know. We've read your comments. We know we've never seen the shows. And we've had no context of the shows and the themes. Mm -hmm. We were ranking them purely on suit alone. We even said that in the video, so, you know, it is what it is. It happens. 
Um, but that was a fun video to do. Um, I think we gave a lot of them Fs. Yeah. Not a lot as we did on the reaction video that we did. We we hated a lot of them. Those yeah. little vinyl form things. Yeah. Um. And then we did. It took six months, but we finally did the first film of the year with the hunter. Yeah. <laughs> and it and we did the hunter. Uh, right after that, which is a film that took us about two days to film. Um, uh, we will react to that film at some point in the future, uh, and talk more about it. Uh, sequel to the Highlanders. You get to see flashbacks from the Highlanders. We reacted to the Highlanders, and if you watch the Highlanders and you watch this one, it'll make sense. Um, but yeah, that was a fun video to do. Um, had some injuries along the way. Aaron busted his head open. Uh, that was fun. He watched that behind the scenes, which is the next one. We uploaded the behind the scenes of The Hunter. Forgot that we had 46 minutes of footage from that. I More than the actual film itself, which is hilarious to me. Um, first time filming at, inside of Dawson's Church. That was new. Um, we also got to film uh, in Forsyth for the first time. Yep. And we got to do a lot of firsts uh, for that video. Uh, we filmed... What feels like everywhere for that one, but <laughs> it really wasn't. It was just, and it was one of the first like actual, not. I mean, the Green Ranger vs. Reptile was one, but this one was like an actual fight scene in my woods. We yep. usually do them in uh, your house, but we mm -hmm. did one. We did it in at uh, my house for multiple reasons, and we'll probably talk about that when we react to it because we have a story about that. Let's see, yeah. Um, the next episode that we did was the Patriot character. We talked about the costume, Yep. Um, who Jason Blake was. Uh, Dawson actually sat down on the set with it on and acted like Jason Blake for five minutes. And that was a very interesting experience, to say the least. Um, but we got to show off that, and we got to talk about the uh, Guardians, which is a our Avengers group. Yep. We talked about them for a little bit. Uh, cool stuff. Very interesting stuff, to say the least. Um, the next uh, video that we did uh, this year was Dawson guessing the Weather News Times will not film theme songs, oh, which yeah. was a very fun, another fun episode to do. I really enjoyed doing that, um, which Dawson is probably the best he's done in anything that we've done in the show so far. So far. Hint, hint. So far. Well, I mean, I do the music, so I would hope I know. Yeah, <laughs> and that's why, like, I people, I feel like some people that watched it were like, oh, I don't. Y'all both try to guess them, and it's like, well, there isn't anybody to get the songs for both of us to guess. It had to be one of us. And so I thought, well, I'll just do it myself, and I'll ask Dawson, because he's the one that does the music. So mm -hmm. uh, we might do little, more little games like that uh, with Weather New Times or Not stuff in the future in 2024. Um, we then did a first. We reacted to the behind the scenes of Ghost which was the first and only time that we've reacted to behind the scenes of a film that we've already reacted to, um, which we plan on reacting to come home, behind the scenes, all that kind of stuff. Um, brothers, go we already did Ghost. I almost said that twice. Highlanders, behind the scenes, we'll do those in the future. Um, there's a lot of stuff that we could react to. Um, not just our stuff, but uh, many different things on the internets. 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 Uh, another one of my favorite episodes is talking about our top 20 Weather News Hammers or Not characters that we've played. Yep. That was a fun episode to do. Um, that video was actually almost a month in the making because we had to make an entire list, list of everybody. people to talk about. I think that one is the longest episode that we've done because it's an hour and a half. Yeah. Uh, I think. Uh, it is the longest one, but it was a very fun one to uh, do. And if you want to find out what our number one character we've ever played is ever, go watch the video. Do it. I'm not telling you right now. Uh, then we reacted to The Hunger Games. Our film, The Hunger Games, not the actual Hunger Games. Hunger Games. Yes, we talked about The Hunger Games. We've talked about The Hunger Games twice on this channel this year. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but, uh, yeah, we reacted to our film, The Hunger Games, one of the most unique films I think we've ever done, um, yeah. with one of the biggest casts we've ever had for a film. Not the biggest, but one of the biggest. One of the biggest. Um, 
that was a lot of fun to laugh at and and uh, talk about the behind the scenes of all that uh, stuff. We've talked about how we wanted to do a trilogy with that film, and we talked about the characters that we wanted to make up for that film, and we've done spinoffs basically from it with The Drop Zone, and uh, we've thought of other ideas that are basically spinoffs of it. Um, but, yeah, it was pretty cool. And we've got uh, the next one, our only Lego video we did, which is Dawson showing off his custom Templar. Legos, um, which uh, was very interesting. Say we we haven't done a Lego video since then from the Lego like the island thing. Oh yeah, Ninjago Island thing mm -hmm. that we did. Um, but if y'all want us to do more of those Lego videos, like episodes, we will because Dawson has a lot of custom Legos, and. I have a lot of wrestling figures, so we have a lot of stuff to show if y'all want to uh, want us to show them, because we will. And then it took another two months to make another film, and that was Home, and we'll react to that. Such a good film. Home is a very good film. Love um, it. We will probably react to that in the future uh, here on the Why the New Times or Not show. Um, it was. It's funny because of how simple the film was, and it almost was thirty minutes, which yep. is crazy mostly to me. Talk. It's mostly talking, but that's how movies are. And it's then one heck talking. of an action scene. Yeah, to, yeah, at the very end. Um, but uh, it was the most successful one that we did, uh, most popular one that we did this year. So uh, go check it out. Uh, it'll be probably our, excuse me, our channel trailer for next year. Um, because this year, or this past year, it's been Star Wars Bounty. Um, mm -hmm. And then we did the behind the scenes of that one, and you got to see all that stuff. We might react to that as well. We then came back with gaming again. We played Call of Duty Black Ops 3 uh, mm -hmm. for the first time in a oh, year or wow. two. Yeah, and it was that one was a lot of fun to do. Um, I think somebody commented on how the sound was great, and it's only because we had the camera behind the TV. <laughs> To uh, where you can hear uh, the uh, everything, all the comments are not in English. What? You have to translate them. Yeah, yeah translate them, but you but know. the guy said that the sound was great. Yeah. So, um, but we did that video. That was a lot of fun uh, to do uh, that little episode. Uh, and like like we said already, we will probably do more gaming episodes in twenty twenty four. Um, and who knows, maybe in 2024, we might do more episodes instead of one a week. We might do more than one because we've done it a couple times this year. Yeah. Um, but it just depends on the timing and the ideas of what we have. And we might include, cause we talked about off camera that I know this has nothing to do with gaming, but we talked about using the swimming pool yeah. in an episode. We might do that next year. We we're going to this year, but we did not. Uh, but we might do a poolside episode of the Weather News Times or Not show. So that'd be interesting. Um, look out for that. Uh, and then we reacted to, I think, the last film that we reacted to, which was Star Wars The Stranger. Uh, we watched that. We talked about that for a little bit. We talked about South Jarde as a character and his whole story. Um, probably the best film out of the three. Oh, absolutely. Uh, for sure. Um, not saying Journey Journey to the Past is a bad film. It's good. Um, it's, good. Um, it's mostly a filler going into The Stranger. Now, the first one. The first one, yeah. The first one, like we say with a lot of things, could have been better. Um, but we were learning, we were learning as we went at that point uh, with filmmaking and all that stuff, not saying that uh, we're, like, the best ever, because we're certainly not. Um, but, but, uh, stop, you know. <laughs> we're certainly not, no. Uh, but, yeah, that one was uh, very, I guess, amateur would be the term, because Absolutely. we could have done a lot better with especially the effects and the sticks and the sound, <laughs> the sound effects. The sticks. Are, the sticks. Yeah, the sound effects are uh, the worst. I yep. think that we've ever done. Uh, I don't know why we went through with that, but we did. We'll never know. Don't know. Uh, and then we did one of the most underrated films of the year, 
uh, TikTok, which I love that film. Uh, should have got a lot more views because it is a great film. It is a good film. Uh, considering the fact that 99.9% of it is talking, and it's probably some of the best improv we've done ever, and also considering the fact that when we do react to this video, we'll talk about how much improv we did yep. <laughs> for that one um, and how we came up with that idea in Dawson's Truck over the last, like, hour or so. Yep. So I mean that was that was a very interesting film uh, to say the least. Uh, but the behind the scenes was, was the next thing that we uh, came out with, mm -hmm. and then we came out with the unseen footage from a film that we want to still do uh, called Spade. Called Spade. We did that at the beginning of 2022, and nobody knew about it until I posted about it. Yep. Uh, on, in October of this year. And uh, that was a very uh, interesting one. I will say, and I told Dawson this off camera, watching the footage back and putting it together made me glad that we did not finish it. Yeah. Because it's not the best that we've done. Um, the fact that you can hardly hear what anyone is saying in it is also another reason. And it's pitch black, so it's hard to tell what the crap's going on in any of the shots. Yeah, I would say we could have done a lot better. We, yeah, I mean, I think the beginning part where you pick up Ian is like the worst. Oh, absolutely. Because you can't see anything. Yeah. At all. And Ian was like, it wasn't his best performance. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the, even the part where you pull up in your truck and the camera is supposed to see you sitting in the truck, you can't even you can't see, see you. <laughs> you can't see nothing. Uh, but go check that footage out if you want to. I, I don't know. We we uh we like to upload our unseen stuff because why not? You know, it's a, no one's gonna ever see it. So who knows? And then our most hated video ever, with fifteen thousand views, we reacted to all of the primary final form henshins and common writer. And to give you perspective. It has 296 likes and 492 dislikes, a 37.6% like to dislike ratio. People still comment on it now, hating on it. We read comments off camera earlier how much people hate, hate it. I um, wish I could tell you how much I care, but I don't. <laughs> but I do not. So. Um, but, yeah, almost 200 comments on this thing. And we did it because... I was on the list of ideas. We thought about reacting to Common Rider stuff, because, and we still haven't even reacted to Power Ranger stuff, which nope. we need to. Uh, whether that be episodes of the show, which we should do, we should actually watch like Dino Thunder or something, yep. and do like a like the, like a, those movie reactor people do. We might do that. We might react to Power Ranger episode shows, uh, Common Rider shows, any show, any movie that might be coming in twenty twenty four. Um, and we'll talk about it at the end and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, like, we, the amount of hate was very unexpected. Um, to the point where I was so taken aback from it that I turned the comments off because I didn't know what to do. Yeah. I've, me or you have never experienced that amount of hate before. No. Uh, and so then we got made fun of for turning the comments off, so I turned them back on. I said, heck it. But, you know, it happens. It is what it is. Um, but, like as Dawson told us, what would you say to me off camera? About how it's our reaction? Oh, the fact that, I mean, it's our reaction. It's our opinion. But a lot of the comments are, Shut up. Nobody cares about your opinion. Y'all don't need to share your opinion. It's quite funny how contradicting it is that we can't share our opinion but they can share their but they opinion. can yeah if you're watching this i i, I can't say <laughs> I, i'm speechless i can't say what I can, i'm thinking yeah this. yeah i, think I was I know. about to but then i was like i know what you're gonna say, say. <laughs> I know, that would have been a funny show moment yeah i think i know what i would have done with that but i think i know what you're gonna say anyways because i kind of feel the same way so um but, so you know yeah uh, but it's like what I say at work, which where I work at is where Lake Lanier is, and sometimes oh, yeah. I'll be like, 
if you see on the other side of that lake and you keep going and you keep going and you keep going, you might find where I give a crap. <laughs> so, but other than that, I don't. So you could also <laughs> say, like, at the bottom of the lake because of how so many dead people. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, go find that. That's how much I don't care. Go very deep. Um, but, uh, yeah, that was one of the most unexpected uh, shock shock factor things that happened oh, yeah. was getting that much hate. But it was fun. It was fun. It was very fun. It makes, as telling Dawson off camera, it makes me want to react to more Kamen Rider stuff because... Yeah. Just to piss people off. It's fun. <laughs> Um, the next thing we do is another one of my favorite videos that we've done talking about our original Dungeons and Dragons characters. Mm -hmm. Um, that was a fun video to do, uh, when Dawson, we had the, uh, minifigures that Dawson did. Yep. Um, and we talked about each and every individual character that we plan on using in the Journey of Heroes film series, which includes me, Ian, Caitlin, and Dawson. Uh, and it was a lot of fun. We got to talk about the Mystic Knight himself. And we got to talk about the hunter, and we got to talk about the cleric, and we got to talk about the dwarf. The dwarf. The dwarf boy. And if you can comment down below what the names of these characters are, you get a cookie. <laughs> no, you actually won't get anything. But if you know what it is, then that'd be awesome. Uh, just comment them down mm -hmm. below. Uh, that's why I didn't say their names. Yeah. Um, but... Then we kick-started a thing that we will continue to do in the future, recreating scenes from shows and movies. Yep. Uh, we recreated a scene from Batman the Killing Joke, which that one's like my favorite one that we've done, um, and it was a lot of fun I to honestly do. would like to do that one again now that we got the mic stuff situated. Yeah. Because we had a little bit of a problem with the mic, and then we got it figured out. Involving this computer that you cannot see right now. Yeah. Which, and now we got it figured out, so... I would like to recreate that scene again because of how like mm -hmm. serious it yeah. is. Technology's and, weird. Yeah, that's and all I gotta try say. it out. Again. Yeah, we so might do maybe that. Maybe we do it again. Yeah, and then we might do some more yeah. in the future. Who knows? We might. Maybe be, we do multiple scenes in an episode. You know that what would be cool if it wasn't expensive is well, I don't know if it would be or not. Get a person on Fiverr to oh. animate something, and we like write a script for it, voice it, and then they animate it. Yeah. And we do it for our show. That would be pretty cool. I don't know how much it would be. But... I know, but might be in 2024 we might do that. So a lot of possibilities. Like we said in previous episodes, the possibilities are endless with this show. So <laughs> we could do whatever we wanted to. Um, it is our show. Um, another one of my favorite episodes that we did was giving our opinions on Reddit's unpopular opinions. Um, I want to do this again. <laughs> Because yeah. that Reddit forum or that Reddit subreddit just keeps getting overflowed with opinions. Mm. And I would love to do another one of those. I clicked on the video for a second. I was like, why are we in Walmart? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was forgot. because, uh, we'll talk about that in a minute because it's coming up in the next video. Yeah. Um, the, the reason why we're at Walmart in that episode and how that drastically went into a dumpster fire. Yep. Um, <laughs> but... <laughs> But uh, that was a fun video to do, and uh, to do another episode of us talking about unpopular opinions would be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Or reacting to other subreddits, like 5050. Good lord, has that thing... <laughs> that one would be really funny but for reaction purposes. Oh, absolutely. Um, I, I am following them on my Reddit account, so I see it sometimes, and I've seen some crazy stuff that I cannot unsee. <laughs> so... It'd be great to do uh, Reddit's 5050 um, and get our reactions from it because uh, it's a Reddit's a dark place, ladies and gentlemen. It's crazy. Just like Twitter is too. Twitter. Somehow both of those things are on the internet. And I don't know how, but it's the way the world works. Yeah, this is where the dumpster fire comes in. Not the film, but the leading up to the film. Uh, we did Star Wars: A Fresh Start, which was made up at the last second. Yep. Uh, the reason why we went to Walmart in the last episode was because we were wanting to do a sorcerer film and that we have thought of for the last three or four years, and we never got to do it because we have a little thing in where we live called the Apple Festival that ruined everything. We that thought was it was insane. over. We thought it was over. Then yeah. we went to town, and it wasn't. It was awful. 
He damn, she damn, and the whole damn family. Uh, was there. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody was there. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's what gave me the flu. Probably was that. So, uh, I, yeah. But we did find a really cool spot to film the we did. Indian fight scene. We did, and we do plan on filming that film at some point. It was just we were not filming it that day because it was chaotic. We weren't prepared for the amount of people. Nope. I so think we, we filmed in the woods. We should, <laughs> yeah, alone. <laughs> we we should have expected it, but we yeah. didn't. I think didn't Sarah Keener like tell us about that cemetery and filming so. in it? Not the up part, but just the cemetery filming in it. Period. I think so. I, somebody told us about uh, it when we were in high school, but I can't remember. And we just didn't because we thought it was, like, sectioned off. Yeah. It's not. It's not, though. Yeah, you can drive so, through it. It's a horrible road. It's a horrible road. But you'll probably see that in future behind the scenes when we go filming that. But we did Star Wars A Fresh Start, which is cool, though, because we actually kind of came up with our own little another Star Wars series. Because, uh-huh. you know, we've got Jasper McBride, we have Sal Jarde, and now we have Jack and the group of smugglers and Nomar and Aaron. Mm-hmm. And we got our little group of people. I talked to, me and Trace talked about this, and Caitlin was there too. But we talked about how cool it would be if one day, and we might do that next year yeah. if we get the money for it, but um, all of us taking a trip down to Florida yeah. and actually filming bits and pieces of film yeah. in Galaxy's Edge and just have fun with it. And... Him, you saying that made me think, and we might do an episode of the show in Florida. That would be a very interesting and fun episode, I think. Yes, it would. Because the pos- like I always say, the possibilities are endless. We could mm-hmm. do it if we have a balcony. Do it on the balcony. We if there's a beach, we could do stuff on the beach. Even yeah. though you're probably not going to hear a single word because of how windy it gets down yep. there. Uh, anything can happen. And Caitlin will probably be a guest on it, too, because yep. she'll be there. She'll be there. Um, but 2024 is looking pretty, pretty awesome so far. Uh, behind the Scenes came out for that one also, so go check that out. Yep. Um, another one, I have a lot of favorites. Uh, another one of my favorites is the Green Dragon costume, which, not because of the costume, but the video we did for the costume. Oh, yeah. The little teaser to the Green Dragon character, which we really want to do a film with that. And we kind of have somewhat of an idea of a scene that we want to do in it, like the whole projector scene, uh, which we're not going to disclose here yet. Um, But uh, we talked about the origins of that character, who he is, what he is, and the Mm. costume in general. And we did that little cool, little short video. And then I got sick. And then we went away for a couple of weeks, and yep. then we came back and tried not to make each other laugh. That's another one of my favorite ones, because Dawson got me with a gay horse joke. I'm always going to say that, because that's what happened. That's what happened. Dawson beat me uh, by that's saying the classic said. gay horse. Yeah. And it's yeah. funny, because I've heard the joke before, but it was so out of left field that I had no idea it was coming. <laughs> Uh, and then we went and watched The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Very good movie. Um, very good movie. Very good movie. Um, you can rent it on Apple for $20. Ridiculous. Um, yeah. That's retarded. I know. My <laughs> my mom and them, we went and watched Wonka, and they were like, yeah, we should watch that this week. And I'm like, I'm looking it up, and I have an app where it like shows you like what's streaming on whatever. And I looked up that movie, and it said, Apple TV. Nineteen ninety nine. I'm like, I am not paying twenty dollars uh, no. when I could go to the movies for less than that and watch it myself. <laughs> I do want to go watch Wonka. I haven't seen it yet. It's good. It? Yeah. Um, uh, Ma- mom and them were like, uh, we might review that on here, even though I've already seen it. I'll watch it again. Um, but uh, mom was like, oh, it's too musically, and I'm like, that's Willy Wonka though. Like the first movie was a musical, the second movie was a musical, yeah. and this one is. This one, I will say, not I. Well, me saying anything about the movie won't really spoil it because it's Willy Wonka. I mean, mm. everybody knows, you know, this is the origin of Willy Wonka. Is it Michael Key in it? Keegan Michael Key is, yeah. yeah. Um, this one, in my opinion, is the most musical out of all of them. Really? Which it doesn't make it bad. It actually works because Willy Wonka is a musical like type person thing. Yeah. Um, but we might watch that, I'll watch it again, and we might talk about it here on the show. We might, when it gets later on, we might watch it here, and we might react to it, and you'll get to see some of that, and we'll talk about it. 
Um, because I have a lot of things to say about that one, too. Well, we talked about the Hunger Games, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, uh, with Caitlin. Caitlin was on the show for the first time in two, three years, mm -hmm. which she was even surprised by. Yep. But she'll be on the show more, um, obviously. Um, well, I shouldn't say obviously. Of course she'll be on the show more often. Um, Dawson's gonna drag her here. What? <laughs> what? Um, but that was a fun little video to do. That was the first time we used this set mm -hmm. that we're using right now. Um, and we've kind of done a little bit of changes and tweaks to it as we went along. Um, next, we did our big, long Thanksgiving episode where we talked about all sorts of different things. We talked about Marvel stuff. We talked about movies. We talked about pol politics. That was the fun part. We talked about a lot of different woke political things that if anyone watched it and we were famous enough or popular enough we would probably get canceled but who cares i don't yeah what he said um and then uh we talked about or we did the recreation of a scene from justice league war mm -hmm. where dawson played batman again and i played green lantern for the first time and that was a lot of fun to do uh voicing that over was a lot of fun because i actually got to play myself yep. for once it was fun. Um, and then... I still had to do my whole voice thing. Yeah, you did, yeah. And I forgot to put the behind the scenes of that recording. On I noticed episode. that whenever I was watching the video. I was yeah. like, hey, behind the scenes of nothing. Yeah, I got it done and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot to add that in there. Crap. <laughs> but it's fine. Um, it was good either way. Yep. Um, another one of my favorite episodes is uh, re uh, interviewing Lachelle Rain, mm -hmm. who wrote the book based off of our character Sir Gavin. The Promised Princess. The Promised Princess, yeah. Uh, yes, you can go watch that episode, the links for all of her books and all of her things, and you can go buy it in the description, mm -hmm. so go check it out. Um, it's a very cool, we had technical difficulties in that one too. We did, which was kind of sad, but we'll try and do better. Heck, maybe we bring her on again, and yeah. we'll try it again. We'll Who figure knows? it out. We'll figure, uh, we'll, we'll figure something out. I Computers, technology's weird. Technology's weird. It's very weird. Um, but... The very last, we just talked about this at the beginning of this episode, mm -hmm. uh, introducing the world of Daenerys. We did that video uh, last week, right before Christmas, because you can tell there's no tree here. We didn't mention that in the intro. There's no, no tree. more tree. No more tree. Holiday over. Um, <laughs> Christmas is over. It's sad. Um, but we did talk about the world of Daenerys, the characters. Uh, Dawson brought the helmets for Daenerys. Uh, Dawson talked about the story of Daenerys. And then we got on a string of AI music. Yeah, we did. <laughs> For the last, like, 20 minutes. Uh, we just couldn't help ourselves. Um, but that was the year yep. of 2023. Most of them, as you can tell, were Weather News Hammers mm -hmm. Not Show episodes. Yep. Because, one, they're fun to do, and two, like I've said, this will be like the third or fourth time I've said it, the possibilities are endless with this. Um, but, yeah, that was all of the stuff that we've done this year in the year of 2023. What do you think about this year, Dawson? Um, as a whole. I would say it was good. I'm glad that we did more of the episode or the show, which is nice. Like I said before, I think it was a little slow. Yeah, slow paced, definitely. I had some a lot of technical difficulties. A lot. And, um, kind of sucks that we didn't have a whole lot of films, but the least amount that we've done in a year ever was this year. It's just what hey, happens. we're adults now, so yeah. it's kind of harder to. Well, not it's not hard to manage life with it, but it's just it is what it is. Yeah, he's got to work around it. We've got we'll a lot of yeah, we got a lot of different ideas for episodes of the show that we want to do. Um, I know one for sure episode that we're doing is the newlywed game. Yes. Um, because mm. Dawson's getting married next year. Mm. I am. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, so, fun. yeah, I've probably said that in an episode before. We've said it before, but yeah, Dawson in 2024 will be a married man. Yeah. So, next year might have a slow start off. Yeah. Because January and February, there's a lot going on. After that, hopefully, yeah. we'll try and get back into our kick. And um, hopefully these next couple of weeks we might do a film. Maybe. Hopefully. But Maybe. there. Maybe. But the thing is, is if, even if there isn't, the show will always the be show here. Will still go on. The show will always be here. Maybe we do that source for a film. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe. Um, the uh, Yeah, we'll be doing the newlywed. That's a, the only idea that I know that for sure we're doing is that one. Mm -hmm. uh, and that'll be uh, sometime after they get hitched. 
Yeah. Um, but uh, now we're going to get into the part, the final part, final segment of this uh, episode where we're going to talk about potential films that we probably will try to do in 2024. Um, Dawson, take it away, sir. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> take it away, sir. Um, well, the biggest one that we were talking about, yeah. and we will actually... That we filmed some of this year. Yes. So, um, try and get a lot more done next year. Plan on... What? Got a notification from oh. Etsy. Oh. Um, something about... Something, one of the things that I ordered. Oh. Um, the plan is to hopefully finish it. That's always the plan. Will that happen? Don't know. Yeah. But we are definitely... Stop it. But we are definitely going to um, keep working on Lost But Not Gone, the, the big movie. Yeah. And here's the ordeal. Here's the deal. Here's the Joe deal. Joe Biden. Here's the deal. <laughs> here's the deal. <laughs> um, and we've said this before. The reason why we are not so hesitant on rushing Lost But Not Gone and it Lost But Not Gone has become this big ordeal is the fact that me and Trace have come to the conclusion of because we've said it before and we've always talked about it like I know it's like one of those like kind of like somewhat getting there and then like the accidental ones and it's like yada 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 of like getting to a movie length in a way but we've always talked about how cool it would be to actually make a feature length film like yeah. an hour and 30 minutes to hour whatever man and put a lot of effort go to multiple locations and just go to town with it and make some off the wall crazy amazing thing and we have attempted it and we have attempted it with before with who took sarah with who took sarah this one is like Different from that, but you know, who took Sarah was like where what it would look like if yes. we did it. And um, we said we are going to finish this one, and we're going to do it. We will finish it, we will make it, we will make it awesome. It'll come out. We'll do the premiere night of saying, Hey, here is a movie that we have done, Lost But Not Gone. We'll have the premiere night. And then after we do that, it comes out all in dandy. We are never doing anything like that again. <laughs> <laughs> so, Unless uh, it happens on accident. And that which, was, this yeah. is one of the things that we were putting like so much effort into. Now, if we do it on accident, it's fine. Yeah. Kind of like who took Sarah. Or the and, lost treasure. And lost treasure. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is the thing that we're like, we are putting so much effort in it, so much time, so much money, and yada, yada, yada into it. After we're done with that, don't care, about, <laughs> don't care about doing anything like that ever again. Yeah. Short films, we'll keep doing. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about something like this. But Lost But Not Gone is something that we will do. We've got plans on doing it. Uh, one, Another one that I'll talk about that we have talked about numerous, 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 numerous times. But we keep bringing it. We've been bringing it up a lot here lately, so maybe it will happen. Is the Red Ranger film. We've talked about that in the last two or three mm -hmm. yearly videos, I think. So, maybe that will come out. Um, a actual storyline is there now, so it is very much possible Just think now. about it. We've talked so. about it for two years, since 2021. Mm -hmm. That's how long we've been talking about it. So, so who knows? Maybe that'll happen. I don't know. Um... Just off the top of my head, I know another one we talked about doing is another Bigfoot film. Yeah. We'd like to do that. Um, uh, another one that we've talked about, too, it's off the top of my head, um, Spirit of the Wolf. It's another one we've talked about. Um, I'm not explaining a lot of these. I don't... Lost we did an episode on the White Wolf. Yeah, yeah. We did a... Ep we've done stuff and talked about them before. Um, the duel. We did a whole. We did an thing interview on it. with that. Yeah. yeah, with the book, but we did same an interview character. with the book, and we did a thing on the channel 
describing the movie. Yeah, the like, announcement the of announcement it. The announcement of mm-hmm. it. So that'll still happen. Um, you just heard Trace talk about it. We had an idea of the Mighty Manus. Yeah. Um, Common Rider based. Carmen Rider based. Um, Into the Jungle, which has our character um, Tiger yeah. in it. Um, Journey of Heroes, which is our D&D characters. Did a whole episode on that. Mm-hmm. Speaking of that, a little side note, man, and Trace have talked about this, of actually creating a board game that's like D&D and like Warhammer and calling it Journey of Heroes, and we use our characters to play in it. Yeah. Yep. Um... I don't think we've ever talked about this one. We might, I, we may have, but I don't think so. Uh, there's an idea called Dutch. Yeah, we haven't talked about that on the channel. I don't. Yeah, think. I think I've referred to it as like the first AI based yeah. idea that we've because AI didn't really become a thing until the beginning of this year, mm-hmm. la- late last or yeah, late last year. And Dutch was like the first one where we like wanted to do something with it. Yeah. So there's Dutch. Um... There's an ODST film they only have in mind. And there might be episodes on all of these. Yeah. You never know. Um, of course, Daenerys, which we just had a whole episode. The on. last week's episode? Yeah. Um, a film called Crosshairs, which is about a scout trooper. It's a Star Wars film. Um, we actually don't have a name for this film. I just have it put down. Like, Untitled. The of this. Yeah. Um, we have a... Um, Star Wars film that's based with a shore trooper, mm. and it's basically it takes place in trench warfare, but Star Warsy, and that film's just insane. Um, Magna Man, the return, the return, the return of Magna Man. Um, I we just talked about it and we just got a name for it. Uh, Escape, which is a Halo film. Yeah, may change the name later because. Uh, just I was just told before the episode we actually have another film called Me. Escape. So, I told them that. Yeah, so you know. Well, it was an um, escape room film, so I mean, we obviously called it Escape because it's escaping a room. <laughs> um, I'll say this one. The way it's looking, it'll probably never happen. <laughs> but uh, we got a film called Legacy. Oh. And <laughs> depending on what we can do with it, depending on what we can do with it, but for right now, because it's very, it's a very simple idea. Yeah, it's just, just trying to get it together. Get it together yeah. where it is. Right now, it is not together. Yeah. Um. There's so many ideas, but I'm just trying to say like the main ones. Of course, you got the sorcerer film. Um. You got owl. Yeah. Which we, we well, I know. That's another idea for an episode. We actually were going to do an episode of that uh, this month, talking about the entire series and developing it on camera. Mm-hmm. Uh, we will do try to do that in 2024. Yeah. Um, we, uh, I've got that written down with question marks on it so we can go through it all. We right. talked about taking ourselves from the Batman one that we wanted the series we wanted to do and turning that entire... TV web series into a series of films with the yep. owl, and owl. We, we talked about making our own characters of each person, mm-hmm. like the Joker and uh, Black Mask and all that stuff. So. Yeah. Um. So there's that. Um. So many little, littler ones. That, these are like the main ones that we've actually talked about and like has been pushing forward to do, but um. Uh, I'll say this one is the last one. Uh, well, not. So here's another one: is the Assassin's Creed, the yeah. Assassin film, the Follow the Red Coats. That we've get this. I'm gonna set the stage for you right here because y'all are gonna be amazed. This film has been in production, not production, but pre-production. Talked about. Talked about <laughs> in talks for almost a decade, and I'm not even kidding when I say that because we were freshmen in high school when Dawson told me about this idea. And that means it was 2015, everyone. Eight years ago, we've been talking about this, and, you know... Still not here. Still not here! <laughs> Eight years later. There's actually 
episodes on the channel of me and my sister making the yeah. suits for that film. Yeah. And it still is not here. There's a lot of videos back in the past where we talk about c certain ideas that we never did. But we honestly, if we watched them back, we probably could do stuff with them. Now. Oh, absolutely. Like the Matt Gilmer. Oh, yeah. I really wanted to do that one. Right, the Purple Spartan. The Purple Spartan. Because, well... If you lived in our county, you would understand. But yeah. yeah, but stuff like that, yeah, like that eight years and talks for eight. Years. It's the longest a film or trailer or anything that we ever have done has been in talks for, and that is crazy. And the fact that we're still talking about it, so. still talking, still about talking it. about it. Um, last one I'll talk about because this one is actually um, it's got promise. Um. We just talked about this. We got a whole idea about it. Character list, casting, yada, yada, yada. Most of these do. Yeah. Um, I just finished the script for this the other day. Got everything done for it. This, The name of the film is going to be called Legionary's Dawn. And it is a Roman film. That is epic. <laughs> yeah. So far, from what it seems like from the script, it's going to be epic. Um, so that's kind of just a short condensed list of ideas that we have talked yeah. about and that we would like to do. Um, so who knows what's first? Yeah, we, this another, um, mix of the year of wonder part two and also the year of the show in a way, um, because 2023 was more of the year of the show than it was the year of wonder because we mostly i mean it's gonna the same thing for 2024 it's gonna be the show mostly yeah. um but yeah we got a lot of film ideas that we want to capitalize on at some point uh whether that be this year next year two years three years from now who knows we'll look at it when we get there um, and like I said, we got a lot of episodes of the show that we want to do, um, including this popped in my head while you're talking about the films, uh, doing, uh, Jeopardy episodes with different things like Star Wars and stuff like yeah. testing our knowledge on whatever stuff like that. Uh, we might do little Jeopardy things, little fun games here and there, uh, react to shows, watch shows, do Anything, anything that we're interested in, we will do our best to uh, get a video out there of it. Um, we do have an idea list uh, that we keep adding stuff to keep on on to occasion. It. So uh, we will try to do a lot of the ideas that we talked about in this episode specifically. Mm. But uh, yeah, 2023 has come and gone. Yeah, Crazy enough, it feels like... Almost, it doesn't feel like a year ago we were sitting right here starting yeah. the show again. And it was even weirder when we did do that that mm -hmm. I mentioned that we started the channel in this very room yep. eight we're years here. ago. And we are coming up on our nine years of being on YouTube. Uh, well, whether news happens or not being on YouTube um, in March of next year. So that's going to be crazy. Um, what's even crazier is we'll probably try to do... Um, in the summer this year, we're probably going to try to do a 10-year video because me and Dawson have been on YouTube together for 10 years, a decade, uh, in July. So uh, there will probably be something to do with that. Uh, no, there's no telling what that'll be yet, but 10 years of being on YouTube, that's a long time. Uh, <laughs> we've seen a lot. We've done a lot. Uh, most of the beginnings, if we do... Uh, I mean, if we did do a 10-year video, we probably would watch our really, really old stuff from 10 years ago uh, and talk about it. But um, it's it's crazy. Yeah, we've, been, we've seen a lot in the last 10 years. We've done a lot in the last 10 years. A lot of the stuff that we did before Weather News Happens or Not was posted on my channel. So a lot of people have never really seen it. Um, there's a lot of stuff that we filmed that I don't have anymore because I lost it somehow. And so, who knows? Uh, we might watch really, really old stuff around that time, but there's a lot of stuff that we are going to be doing uh, for the channel and for the Weather News Times or Not show in the future. It may not be in 2024, but it will be in the foreseeable future. 
Uh, and we'll update all y'all as we go along because mm. things change, life changes. Uh, you wake up and ain't nothing the same, just like the song. <laughs> yeah. I'm corny, yep. Um, but, uh, great song, though. Uh, but that was us recapping the whole year of 2023. Mm. And, uh, crazy how this year has went by so fast. And we're already going into 2024, uh, which is sure to be better than this year, hopefully. I hope so. I hope so. I hope because 2023 was something else. Um, but that's going to do it here for us, for our yearly annual Weather News Hammers or Not update video. Uh, like this video if you like it. Leave a like down below. Uh, comment all sorts of ideas and things that you want us to do next here on the Weather News Hammers or Not channel. Note, this will be the very last video of 2023 uh, for the channel and for the Weather News Hammers or Not show, period. Season 3 will be starting January 5th, as of right now, of next year, unless that changes. Uh, the date will be January 5th or the week after. We will start Season 3. Of the Weather News Times or Not show, we will have a new intro, new logo, everything. We're going to get new stuff and a new theme song. It's going to be fun. Um, so look out for that. Uh, and most importantly, this is how you're going to know that we come out with the Season 3 episode is to subscribe. Uh, the very first episode of Season 3. Uh, and uh, to the Weather News Times Not channel, hit the notification bell. If you want to be notified for any of our videos that we come out with, whether it's films episodes of the show, behind the scenes, unseen footage, other wacky stuff, uh, including uh, vlogs that we might do, like uh, Dawson talked about doing the premiere of the movie, we might vlog it. So y'all might have to cool. watch out for that. Get everybody's reactions. Yeah, and we'll do a little reaction thing to that. Um, but yeah, subscribe, like I said, uh, do all of that cool stuff. Um, and my name is Trey Sparks. My name is Dawson Mullins. And we'll see you guys in 2024. And in the next episode of the Weather News Hamden Not Show. Bye-bye. Happy New Year.